once you have saved a wall art collection that you would like to use over and over again, not just for this client, but for future clients, you can do so in the Gallery Builder. Simply click the pin icon and save to collections. And it's in this box, you can set the name for the collection, as well as select which group you want it to be placed in and the price. In the group drop down, in the orders tab, in the pricing setup, you can change the names for these groups. And we have covered this in a separate tutorial. And lastly, in the display order box, you can type in a number between one and 12, and this will determine the place in which it sits in the design picker. Once we save the collection, we will then see that in group two, the design we have just saved now appears in collections under group 2 where we can refer to this and go back to this at any point. So now when you see if I apply this layout and add it to my client order by hitting the plus sign on the top right you can see that straight away the price has been auto populated from the price we just set and that's how you create and save your first collection. When applying a design collection for your clients, we are faced with two options. The first is to click the Layout tab. From here, you can see a collection we have previously saved from a separate tutorial. Simply double click and then drag the images up into where you would like those images to be placed. Additionally, the other way of doing this is by dragging the images up and then selecting the layouts and as you can see the collection will auto populate with the images you have selected simply double click and then change to arrange as required if for example we select four images and we know the collection we have selected contains only three then Fundly will only select three images Saving to Composites works exactly the same way as saving to collections by clicking the pin icon and then selecting Save to Composites. This is different as saving to collections will save four separate canvases whereas saving to composites will save this image with four images within the one canvas. So for example, if you would like to save one composite plus additional images either side of this composite, then you can save this as well by clicking Save to Composites and calling it what you would like, setting the price, and again, arranging the display order to save. And this will then be used in future composite sales. And then much the same way as our collections, once you are happy with the layout, you simply click the plus sign to add to the client order. And you can see that everything we have saved, including the price, has been auto-populated. To add to the order, just click Add. To apply a composite to the room, first you must add your images and then select your composite. This way, Funny Designer will know to auto-populate the composite saved with the images selected for the design. So to do this, simply select the amount of images you know that are in the composite saved, drag up into Funny Designer, click Layouts, and then go to Multi. As you can see, we're an image short, so we simply find the next image and populate from there. The second way of doing this is simply by dragging the images that you would like in your composite into the gallery designer and then from here we can go into the composite category by clicking layouts and going to composite and selecting the layout we've already saved. Fundy designer 
drop zones due to its automatic nature do not save the ratio you first applied. To change this, you might want to double click and then select which ratio you wish to proceed with and then adjust the crop as required. Once you have completed this, you can select the view button and go back. It's from here that the client may wish to swap their images around and this is the same as the album designer by simply dragging the image across and the image will swap out. So from here we have complete control in how we would like our composite to look when it's on the wall. If the client has decided that they no longer want an image, let's say this one for example, it's exactly the same as the album builder by simply selecting an image from the image well and dragging it up to replace that image. Probably the best feature across Fundy Designer is the drop zone technology. This means that we can create a composite on the fly should the client be undecided. To do this, simply double click on the composite, select the image, right click and remove the image. And we can adjust the images from there. We can also repopulate the space with multiple images should the client be undecided. If you find, however, that you feel the images added are too small, with the adjustable drop zones, we can simply drag each image across to make every image individual. And this will be added to the composite. Another great feature of Fundy Designer. Thank you.